The NVIDIA Jetson R Nano Developer Kit Carrier Board includes a 40-pin expansion header supporting UART, SPI, I2S, I2C, and GPIO. Much like an Arduino or Raspberry Pi, the GPIO pin can be used to buzz a buzzer. For the hardware, we'll have an NVIDIA Jetson R Nano Developer Kit, passive buzzer, and a couple of female-to-female jumper wires. Connect the positive leg of your passive buzzer to the 15 pin on your Jetson or Nano and connect the negative leg to a GND ground pin on the NVIDIA Jetson or Nano such as the 14th pin. Turn on your NVIDIA Jetson or Nano, open a new terminal window and first check that the Jetson GPIO library is installed. sudo pip install jetson.gpio HSA requirement already satisfied Jetson GPIO in dot dot dot. Create a new Python file named buzzbuzzer.py. Touch buzzbuzzer.py. Now let's edit the buzzbuzzer.py file. G edit buzzbuzzer.py. For the start, we're going to import the necessary libraries needed. Import jetson.gpio as GPIO. Import time. Then we clear which pin the LED is connected. Buzzer pin equals 15. We then set up the GPIO to use physical pin numbers and for the pin to output. GPIO set mode, GPIO board. GPIO setup, buzzer pin, GPIO out, initial equals GPIO low. We're going to define a function called beep. A passive buzzer requires a rapidly pulsed signal. We can accomplish this by switching between the setting the high and low signals with a very, very small delay in between. Def beep for I in range 10, GPIO.output, buzzer pin, GPIO high, time.sleep, bracket 0 0.0005, GPIO.output, buzzer pin, GPIO low, time.sleep 0.0005. Then start a try accept block inside the try block. We'll use a while statement. Inside the while statement, the code will repeatedly execute. So here we repeatedly call our beep function and wait for a 500 milliseconds. Lastly, finish the accept block with the accept block specifying keyboard interrupt. This block will make our program safely close when we want to close the program. Accept keyboard interrupt, print exiting gracefully, GPIO cleanup. Click on the save button to save the code and then close gedit, the text editor program. And we can now launch the buzzbuzzer.py program, Python 3 buzzbuzzer.py. When you're finished, you can press Ctrl-C to safely stop the program. 